Hello, in this video, we will start a video series. Our topic is about superstitious beliefs and horror cinema. Let's start then. Since its existence, humankind's fears, helplessness, hopelessness, and loneliness have given rise to various superstitions. Superstitions continue their adventure from modern times to the present day, feeding on man's helplessness in the face of nature. Psychology and psychiatry as well as the historical roots of superstitions, have been guiding in explaining these beliefs. It will be art that makes superstitions easier to understand and turns them into immortal images. Visual arts, such as painting and cinema, are among the artistic productions that focus on symbolic and metaphorical expressions. Fears and obsessions covering the field of psychiatry have always been associated with superstition. For example, well-known fears and obsessions such as black cats and not walking under stairs are part of our daily lives. Superstitions may sometimes show similarities or contrasts in various societies. The belief of one tribe or civilization may be the superstition of another. For example, the Christian emperor Constantine rejected paganism. The pagan statesman Tacitus accepted Christianity as a superstition. Superstitious teachings, which are mostly rooted in pagan beliefs, can use rituals, objects in pagan religions verbatim, while at the same time they can demonize mythological beings from pagan beliefs. The purpose here is to convey old beliefs as bad. For example, Pan, located in pagan mythology, turned into a dream image reflecting the physical characteristics of the devil, along with the holy book. Similarly, the cross, which has its origins in pagan beliefs, was initially rejected by the church, but later became associated with Christianity. The symbols mentioned in pagan or shamanic traditions may be objects, symbols, that continue to be used even today. For example, the origin of the amulets we use today dates back to the ancient Romans and Greeks' belief that children were exposed to evil eyes. Halloween, Easter are commercialized. Mythological creatures have been transformed into superheroes over time and have become indispensable figures for the silver screen, comic books, video games, in short, popular culture. The cinema industry consists of these objects dating back to ancient times. Superstitions are often used. House, unlucky spaces, compartments and objects such as stairs, doors, mirrors, Animals that are considered unlucky, such as black cats and ravens, and unlucky codes, such as numbers and signs such as 666, 13, appear especially in horror cinema. Superstitions on the big screen. Unlike the gore genre, youth horror films in the slasher and teen slasher genres include sinister places and objects, such as mirrors and stairs. Additionally, Films involving metaphysical horror draw on superstitions associated with the American Gothic. Horror cinema uses superstitions with their symbolic meanings that can be analyzed as subtext. Cinema, mostly horror movies, often makes use of these cultural codes when using ominous objects and locations. In horror cinema, master directors such as Hithcock include ominous phenomena such as stairs, mirrors, and salt. To give an example of the sinister objects and places we encounter in Hithcock's films, Psycho 1960, Mirror Vertigo 1958, Staircase, The Birds 1963, Black Birds, Rear Window 1954, Doors and Windows, Rebecca 1940, Haunted Mansion, Dial M for Murder 1955, Shaking Salt from Shoulder Scene, Spellbound 1945, Images such as Broken Wheels. Hithcock's film Rebecca, 1940, is adapted from a Gothic novel with traces of American Gothic. In the film, we encounter the uncanny, unheimlich theory used by Freud in his article. Fear elements such as the return of the old, the repressed, and not belonging at home have been successfully handled. The house will also have an important place in Hitchcock's movie Psycho, 1960 representing the subconscious, the cellar, the attic, the unconscious where the repressed is stored, and intentional forgetting. The house, which is the most important location of American Gothic, 
is also among the indispensable claustrophobic locations of horror cinema. In American Gothic, where the indigenous people are massacred, the seeds of slavery are sown, and the other is seen as the enemy. The house plays an important role in reflecting the colonialism in the American geography, the bigoted crowds, Puritan people, social collapses, and, as a fiction, the spiritual state of this geography. Nowadays, oikophobia is a situation we frequently encounter in cinema, in metaphysical horror films, especially in occult horror cinema. These symbols, which we encounter in the suburbs in American horror movies, and whose origins are based on the superstitions of indigenous tribes such as Native Americans, contain various meanings. For example, in shamanism the house is also accepted as a grave and a womb. Small green stones, seashells and snail shells are hung at the bottom of the grave. In the horror movie, which takes the house as the center, the cursed house where the family settles and which is attacked by ghosts over time, is a shelter that is persistently not abandoned. The evil spirit, which is reflected in cliches such as a witch or a demon-possessed female victim, is definitely exorcised by the Christian confessional method. A mansion where sacrifice takes place in accordance with pagan beliefs or a house built on sacred land will definitely bring bad luck. In Stanley Kubrick's movie The Shining 1980, the Overlook Hotel was built on a Native American burial ground. Johnny, Jack Nicholson, with his alter ego reflecting the American upper white attitude, displays an aggressive style against external threats with his extreme actions, such as killing the cook character who wants to enter the hotel. The situation of threat from outsiders posing to the town, specific to Southern Gothic, is expressed in the movie Sinnet by emphasizing that the ghosts are the permanent owners of the hotel. The bar where the vampires appear in the movie From Dusk Till Dawn, 1996, directed by Robert Rodriguez and written by Quentin Tarantino, is the visible face of the temple. In all these and similar films, disasters resulting from the superstitions of ancient American tribes come to light. 